Google's Palm E AI will change your life completely. Let's take a look at the technology behind this. So let's take a look at this video of a Google robot and its goal is to get chips from a drawer. Now, getting the chips from the drawer is already quite impressive, but take a look when someone actually goes ahead and interrupts this process by putting the chips back inside the drawer. And now it actually goes back and picks it back up again. Person does it one more time, and this is to simulate real world scenarios in case something were to happen, if it were to fall, essentially anything possible. And then you can see the robot goes ahead, grabs the chips, takes a look, and then backs out and then goes over to deliver it to its target destination. So as we can see, the Palm E AI allows this robot to do a task that is essentially simple for humans, but for a robot is quite complex. Even on the right side, we have the robot doing another task of picking up the green star or essentially the green block here. And this is a visual learning model that essentially allows it to identify what is green, to pick it up, and then to go ahead and do whatever they want it to do afterwards. Here's another video example showcasing Palm E, utilizing a robot to go ahead and do even more complex tasks. So as you can see from here, the third robot environment, it's essentially inspired on the task and motion planning, which they call TAMP. And that essentially studies the challenging planning task of rearranging objects and these are confronting the robot with a very high number of possible action sequences. So as a normal human, for you to say, for example, let us separate the red from every other color or even just putting red to red, yellow to yellow, green to green, blue to blue, it seems like a very simple thing as a human. However, for a robot, that has no idea what colors are, what shapes are, it has to go through a lot of complexity behind the scenes to even accomplish such a simple task. And that is what Palm E has managed to do in these examples. And here it has even more abilities to identify certain colors of shapes and putting them in a specific order that it is programmed to do. And here is a real life example showcasing the robot picking up a sponge off the top layer with a specific color and then delivering it to a person. So there's already some of the actual real world examples being put into use. And not only robots are part of this AI, this actually has visual learning capability as well and it can recognize images and identify exactly what is happening who they are and anything else that you possibly could think of. So for example, we have Kobe Bryant on the top left image right here. And the question says, how many championship rings did the player on the left win in this career? Let's think step by step. And then we can see the answer. Step one, Kobe Bryant is on the left. Step two, Kobe Bryant has won five championship rings. So right off the bat, it already knows who this person is based off of data. And two, it's able to utilize the data across the internet and essentially know that Kobe Bryant has won five championship rings. And then you can see additional examples of actual images and it being able to read it. And this specific image with the do not enter sign I thought is quite interesting because it's asking, can I go down this street on a bicycle, yes or no? And if you can read it, you see that only it says bicycles and emergency vehicles. So first it says one, do not enter. So it's reading from top to bottom. And then number two, it says accept bicycles. And then it says number three, do not enter, or essentially do not entry, accept bicycles. And essentially number four tells you right up, yes, you can enter. So that's already quite incredible. And I can see use cases, especially if you've been in cities like LA or even complex areas where there's a lot of signs with times and it says you can't park here and then you can take a picture of it next thing you know it can i park here it's 4 15 pm and it'll say either yes or no so that's already one use case i can see this being used for so here you can see a little 
Animation showcasing VIT with 22 billion parameters, and then there's Palm E with 540 billion. You combine that together, and now you get Palm E embodied, which results in 562 billion parameters. And now we can see all the different use cases that this AI is capable of, such as the robot mobile manipulation that we've seen recently, the tabletop manipulation, the task and motion planning, and he saw the example such as the actual sponge being put to use and the visualization, the ability to read the photo and tell you what is happening and answer any questions that you have regarding the actual visual. Now let's take a look at some more detailed examples of how amazing the Palm E AI model is. So let's start off with this first picture. It says visually conditioned jokes plus few shot prompting. So if you can see, it's an image with a donkey that has a dog on top and it looks like a cat and then a rooster. And then you can see, I see image omitted, a description, a cow sitting on a rug. And then the joke is, why is the cow sitting on a rug? Because it wants to be a couchie. I see, and then description, a donkey is carrying a dog, cat, and rooster. And the joke is, what do you call a donkey with a rooster on his back? A rooster booster. So, in terms of comedic effect, I don't think Palmy AI is there yet. But let's take a look at this next example. Robot visual perception, dialogue, and planning. Now, this is what I was talking about regarding human life being changed forever. So, just take a look. It's essentially showcases that robots in a kitchen and it sees a bunch of different ingredients, egg, sugar, flour, etc. And they have this actual prompt here. When a human asks me to do a task, I respond with a sequence of actions I would do to accomplish the task with the only items that he or essentially she or whatever robot is capable of doing. And then human will say, use all of the ingredients you see to make a cake batter. And then one, the step would be to crack the egg, put the egg into the bowl, put the flour in the bowl, sugar next, mix it, put it in the pan, bake, eat, and clean it up. So this already is going to be absolutely insane. Because the thing is, imagine you have a robot in your house and you say, cook me a omelet. And you need to one, has to understand where is your kitchen first off. It has to know where is your stove, your pans. It has to know where to put the pan, cook it up, put the heat on, put all the ingredients, open up the fridge, and essentially do every little thing that you're doing as a human physically, but as a robot. So I don't think, at least right now, it seems like they're not at that level yet to just do generalizations of like other examples, but I'm sure AI is progressing at an astronomical rate that eventually you're gonna see robots in people's homes and who knows how long doing literally everything the human could essentially do and again here's some more pictures we've seen already and let's just take a look at some more detailed examples and for example here it says end-to-end -end egocentric Q&A dialogue so it shows a picture with the timestamp of 10 30 a.m then another picture, 1245, and then another picture, 345. And it, question, I forget, what did I have for lunch and what time was it? And then it actually says you had a sandwich for lunch and it was at 1245 p.m. So this, this is already kind of crazy because have you ever had somebody ask you, what did you eat yesterday? Or what did you have for breakfast? And it's only a couple hours later and you don't even know what to say. This thing has the memory, it can literally see what you did based on photos that you took and essentially tell you your entire day. So there's a lot of use cases for this in terms of summarizing work, jobs, or just anything that you do. And I can see the advantages of this in the future going to be quite insane. And here is a food restaurant example that I'm sure everybody in their life has contemplated before. And it's essentially asking I'm getting two custom pizzas for me and my friend. How much should I pay in total? And then it showcases custom pizzas. One is two times 9.99. Third step is essentially 
$5.98. So if you ever went to a restaurant, you might not have that much money on you, or you're deciding to order out food, it's like, should I get this? Should I do this? If I have 10 people at my party, should I buy this many pizzas, this much diets, Cokes, sodas, etc. There's a lot of use cases that this could expand into that normal day humans could do. And I think it's going to be quite astonishing. And here we can see from the beginning with limited parameters, the amount of data that it can access. And now with the 540, you can see the expansion of information and access just from the 540 parameters. It's already quite astonishing. And then eventually, if this were to break even more and increase the parameters to next levels that I don't even know what numbers that could reach, next thing you know it, this AI is going to be life changing so that's google's palm eai share your thoughts in the comments below like the video and subscribe and thanks for watching